so I wanted to go over the Snowmaster. This is the 56D. It's a it's a dual zone refrigerator. I believe it's uh it's like around 58 quarts or something like that. I wanted to kind of go over what I've observed about this thing, what I like. Um, I would go over what I don't like, but I really don't have anything that I don't like. I've owned it for over a year now, and I kind of wanted to go over some of the features and some of what um, what this thing is and why I bought this instead of like one of the cheaper refrigerators that are out there because these things are definitely not cheap. Okay, so as a side note, I have I am using the DFG off-road fridge slider. This is the first one he ever made uh, with the cutting board slide out. I have no idea if they've changed since then. Um, my opinion of these fridge sliders is you almost can't build one for what he's selling them for. I've seen guys do their own with like plywood and stuff and that's great if you want to do that, but um, this is like a very small form factor because it's aluminum and it's just riveted together and I've had no issues with this. I haven't seen anything wearing anything, loosening anything like that. This fridge slider in my eyes is, is, is about as good as you can get for the cost. Like this is, it's phenomenal. Anyway, he's got his own website now. Um, when I bought this, he was just uh, selling stuff on eBay. But anyway, it's been a really good fridge slider so I do recommend checking those out. Now it is a dual zone refrigerator so you can have one side is a freezer, you can have the big side as a freezer, the small side is a refrigerator, or vice versa, or all of it is a freezer, all of it is a refrigerator, whatever you want to do. I would imagine that all dual zone refrigerators are going to burn more energy. And for most of that is because if you have a dual zone, you're most likely using one as a freezer. Uh, power consumption. So I've read with the ARB refrigerators that they top out at two amps and uh, two amp power draw and whether it's fridge or freezer. I have no idea if that's been tested or if that's what it says on the side of the box. This one is rated for five point, I want to say 5.82, something like that. And I'd imagine that is, if that's the top out point, I would imagine that's running both of these as a freezer dead of summer and it's, and it's trying to crank down. There are some definitive advantages to having a fridge and a freezer. If you have a I don't know, frozen hamburger patties or something. You can free, uh, move it over the refrigerator. It'll thaw out by nighttime, you know, something like that. And uh, you can just pack more stuff into a freezer. Having something like that, of course, there's uh, ice cream. I bring ice cream bars and stuff and I give them to our whole crew. And, uh, you know, it's just kind of one of those things like nobody's expecting it. They don't expect it, but when I have it, they are more than thrilled. If you can do something like that. If you have children, of course, you're gonna have stuff like that just to keep them happy and keep that sugar rush going. Okay, so the cover comes with these and a Bluetooth remote comes with these. That's one of the coolest parts about this thing. So it's got a solar panel on the back, so you just stick it on the dashboard and uh, it'll recharge itself or it has a USB, micro USB that'll, that'll uh, charge her up. It's got a flashlight on the tip of it for just in case you have it in your camp chair or whatever and you need a light. It's got a backlight, which is pretty handy. You can set your speed with this you can set a uh, auto high, keep mine on low. Um, and then you can set your temperatures up, down, whatever you want to do. And then you can set your voltage cutoff with this. It's got a, a click on off, shut that thing off and then you can charge it up or whatever. It'll charge while it's on. I leave mine in the visor. I check it every day of the summer just to make sure everything's still good. So I got to add in about the ARB because the ARB is one of the most well-known refrigerators and uh, I was checking those out while I was checking these out. After looking into it and comparing it with this, I really didn't spend much more money and you got to take that into consideration too. Now all these fridges, they are they have insulation, but the bag helps tremendously. It's a uh, it's like a reflective coating on the inside. If you were to buy the ARB 50 quart and the bag and the remote you're in it for basically the same cost as this. But I just wanted to point out that this does come with the cover and it comes with uh, the remote and those two things um, you would have to buy extra with most other refrigerators. It also comes with a bottle opener. So you can crack a bottle right here. This pocket is basically what catches the bottle caps, which is kind of cool. Um, I use it as where I put a few knives in here. Um, this bottle opener can also be installed right here. They're pre-drilled. You don't have to drill any holes into this. It comes with some plugs, so you can put it here or you can put it here. It's got a cutout on the, uh, on the cover for that already, so you can do whatever you want. This one, I've seen some people put the remote in here. I keep koozies in here. This is a perfect koozie pouch. 
So that's what we use that for. Going over some of the other features, this, so I have straps on here holding this fridge down. Um, this refrigerator has threaded feet on the bottom of it. Something else is this is lockable. Now in my group of people, probably don't need to worry about locking it. These zippers come all the way down, so when you want to remove the cover, it makes it a little bit easier. Um, super, I mean, a beautiful finish on these. I, I see some guys run it without the cover, and I'd like to do that, but the efficiency thing is, you know. One of the cool features about this refrigerator, I don't know if the others have it or not, it has LEDs in both sides. So if you come out to this thing, um, you know, everybody sitting around the campfire or something, you walk back to the truck, you don't have to have like a headlamp on or anything. If the, I just leave like, I leave the fridge hanging out like this whenever we're camping. So when I come back um, and you lift this up, that's all the light you need. It is, a, it is a sufficiently bright LED for each side, which is awesome. It helps a lot. And, um, and also, along with that, we're going to wait just a second. There it is. Real subtle, you know, but you'll hear it. and You'll be like, what the hell is that? Just in case the kids or somebody uh, or your inebriated self is cooking or something and you leave the fridge open. Another thing is the lids are removable. Kind of helps for cleaning. There we go. They come off just like that. Come off for cleaning. If I suppose if you, uh, you're out on a desert trip or something and they get sand or grit in them or something and you need to take it off and clean it, whatever. Now this thing does have drains in the bottom. So, um, the inside has a divider system that slides out. So kind of makes it nice for uh, dividing up the food or the drinks or whatever you got. And then the freezer is actually a double basket system where they stack on top of each other. Of course, it's all removable. You can do it, run it however you want, but it's got two of these. And then a bottom one and a drain as well on that side. Something else I want to go over that I've seen mentioned on forums or on uh, like Facebook groups and stuff. People buy a refrigerator like this and um, you know, they just don't understand the, necessarily like what, what all goes into it. So this has a 12 volt plug and pretty much all of them have this feature uh, from any brand. There's a 12 volt plug and then there's a, um, there's a plug for like a home outlet you don't plug it into an inverter. If you have an inverter inside of your truck or your van or your car, or whatever you're running this thing in, you don't plug it into the inverter because there's, there's a loss of power. This thing will only run for like six hours. It'll completely drain the battery if you're running it on an inverter that's wired to your battery. It's not designed to do that. So what the plug, it'll come with a, like a household plug that plugs into it. That's for the people that take this out, set it in the garage and don't want their their stuff going bad or it's a dual purpose refrigerator. If you're a weekend warrior camper, um, you, you take this thing out and now it's your garage fridge. If you have a garage, you can back your truck into the garage and open up the door and plug it in to a household outlet. That way it's not drawing on your battery all night because it will automatically, this thing will automatically switch over. I have it hooked to my, my dual battery system. If I plug this into a wall, it'll automatically take the household plug, the AC, and it'll automatically run off of that. So it'll stop draining your battery instantaneously. Anyway, so these are designed for 12 volts, so take full advantage of it. If your vehicle has like a 12 volt plug in the back, like a cigarette lighter plug, you don't plug it into that. Um, that's, not, that's not sufficient because when you turn the car off, most vehicles anyway, that turns off. You can't have this thing turn off. It's always on, 24 hours a day. So the reason we do this instead of a cooler is, because uh, it is significantly more expensive, but a good cooler, like a Pelican or a, yeah, a Pelican cooler or a Yeti cooler, whatever you, you want to look at, they're all really expensive and then you got to keep up with ice and stuff. And if you do really long trips, uh, the, your, your ice isn't going to last forever. They're, they're rated as a seven day cooler. The best coolers out there are a seven day, nine day cooler, but that's not opening it. If you fill those things with ice, don't open it for seven days. It's going to keep ice for the rated time. There's videos of it all over YouTube. They hold the ice, but as soon as you start opening them every day, they start, the ice starts melting 
at a tremendous rate. This is like so much nicer to have. There's not, you don't have to deal with ice. You don't have to deal with wet food. There's no, there's nothing floating around in the water at the end of the trip. It is, it's in my eyes, it's worth it. I spend enough time outside. Uh, we, we camp like 40, 30 to 40 nights a year. I'm camping at least space wise. This thing is, is has more space than my Pelican cooler did. And it doesn't have ice in it. That's the thing about a cooler as well as you lose a tremendous amount of room and space because you have to pile ice into it. On that note, when you go camping, if you're anything like me, you take quite a bit of beer. So the advantage of that with a refrigerator is I, I will drink however much beer I'm drinking that night. And, or, you know, we drink, uh, to me, my wife, sometimes my friends are drinking out of here too. Um, so what we do in that case is We'll drink whatever we're drinking and the next morning I'll cook breakfast and stuff and I'll load up that, that night, I'll load up drinks for that night into this. If we're going on a five day trip or something like that, you know, the, we're, we're taking more drinks in general. And so being able to just put a day's worth in here saves a ton of room. So it may not be worth it to you and if it's not, I understand, whatever. But for me, it was definitely worth it. And now that I have it, I don't, I, I still have a Yeti, a smaller Yeti. I sold my Pelican cooler, but this thing is, it's on point. Another comparison for coolers is you might look at this giant stainless steel refrigerator and say, holy, holy crap, that thing's heavy. Um, and it is, it's like 56 pounds, I believe. So my, my 45 quart Pelican cooler weighed, I believe it was 30 or 35 pounds empty. And, and then you got to load it up with a bunch of ice. So it's eight, get eight, one gallon of water weighs 8.34 pounds, I believe. So with the amount of water you gotta put into that, I mean, you're catching up to this pretty quick. So it's really not that big of a difference. So if you're looking at it weight wise, um, that, that really isn't, that's not really a concern. Okay, so voltage shut off. Most of these refrigerators come with a voltage shut off feature so you don't deplete your battery to the point that you can't start your vehicle. When you have it plugged into 12 volt DC, What'll happen is that I have mine set at the lowest possible setting because I'm running a dual battery, so I'm not as concerned. My vehicle is going to start off the other battery no matter what. But uh, it has a 10 volt, a 10.7, and an 11.8. You can choose whatever you want. So if it ever gets below any of those, uh, whichever you set, the fridge will turn off, so your car will turn on. So that's why I went with solar is to prevent that from ever happening. This whole system's expensive. It's an expensive refrigerator. I recommend a dual battery and I recommend solar. The whole thing's expensive. So if you're getting into this, you, you do need to factor more in than just the refrigerator, in my opinion, especially if you're building like an expedition truck. If you're a weekend warrior, it's a different thing. If you're building a truck up like this, then you know you might wanna consider the, the long run cost. Um, I just kind of piece mine together slowly and surely. And um, you know eventually you have everything you need. So anyway, that's the Snowmaster 56D. Awesome refrigerator, can't recommend it enough. If you own an FJ Cruiser or a Toyota for that matter, and you wanna kinda of keep up with some of these videos that I'm gonna be doing, cause they're basically cross platform. The Forerunners are essentially the same setup vehicle. Um, or if you want some ideas on how you're gonna build yours out, or uh, I'm even thinking about doing some how-to videos cause I am a diesel mechanic for a living. So if you want some ideas and you want some inspiration or you just wanna check out what I'm doing here, uh, Feel free to subscribe to, to the channel and I'm gonna try to put more videos up and hopefully you enjoyed it. So take care.